Well, hey, YouTube viewers. Thanks for stopping by the Wolf Den one more time. And I try to fulfill my promises. I always try. I was going to do a video about some of the things that were sent to me. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, in my last video, well, not actually, it was two videos ago, I think it was. Yeah, two videos ago. I can put a link to it in the video description. As usual, I mentioned that, hey, you know, YouTube always says, do more interactive things with your viewers. And I've been putting it in my video description below where it says, show more. Or on a, on a smartphone, this little tiny, tiny, tiny arrow on the YouTube app. Then you got to go get your little mouse. And I don't mean electronic. I'm talking about a live mouse. Take his finger and stick it on there to open it up. It's so small on a YouTube app. That's where you'll see the video description. Well, in that video description, about 20 times, I put, hey, if you got something that you want me to review, something fishing, unique, you know, some old junky thing in your garage, some old lure, some old reel or something, you know, hey, why don't you send it to me? We'll do a whole video about it. You'll get all the credit for coming up with this cool thing that you sent me. And I mean, I'm looking for unique items. You know, something kind of weird, unusual, whatever, that has to do with the fishing world, even the boating world. I mean, I got a few things on top of my head that I'd even like to uh, purchase and and do. You know, I've seen I, in my travels, I see things, and I'm like, man, I'd like to show everybody that. I don't always get the opportunity. Well, I said in that video description. Send me something. If you want it back, I'll send it back to you. Or if you just want to kind of donate it to the treasure trove of stuff. One of the viewers, Orlock, his name's Gary. He's the one that helped me out many, many times doing maintenance on my Suzuki 250. He is an outboard mechanic in Long Island, New York, where freezing is the reason. And right after that, another viewer, Shore Vapor. Ryan, I believe his name was, sends me an email. Hey, Dave, I'd like to send you something that Engel makes since, you know, we, he watched the video about me talking about the, all the uh, Ozark Trail Walmart stuff that I use. And we'll start with that since we're on that topic. This is what Shore Vapor sent me. It's an Engel big giant cup. Here's the uh, here's the Walmart, the Walmart special. Not much difference in price, hardly you know a couple bucks is what it ended up being. And he said, just send me your address and I'll have Amazon just send it to you. And I went, cool, thanks, because now we get to do a comparison. This is a beat to hell old uh, Ozark Trail insulated stainless steel. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You know, with the plastic lid, with the rubber gasket around it. And it goes on there. You know, it's still going on there. This is dirty and everything. And this is the new Engel one that he sent. Where I can see, you know, Walmart better watch out. Because for a couple bucks extra, I mean, I think these are not, I think they bumped them up to like, Almost nine dollars now at, at Wally's World. This one is an angle and has it embossed there. It's kind of this the same shape. It's a little taller. Look. So well, it's a it's a skosh taller in the metal, and then the lid is even taller. But this one has a nicer lid because it's got the little drink hole cover on it, and. It doesn't just pop off, you got to screw it off, and then there's a gasket down in there. Very nice, very nice. And one thing that I noticed right away, 
is they put an anti-slip little rubber grommety thing on the bottom. And, I mean, it don't go nowhere. Really. This one really, it really slides around. So there's nothing on the bottom of the Ozark Trail, but this one, very grippy. Very grippy, very nice. And I sure do appreciate it, Shore Vapor. Thank you very, very much. I got it, I don't know, a day or two ago, and I didn't want to use it because I knew I was doing this video and I didn't want to dirty it. So there you go. This is going to be my new taking it on the boat one right here. That's going to be the new take it on the boat one. So I appreciate it. This is going to be the Jetty Wolf's official. And, you know, many of us, I mean, this would leave the marks on this. I guess, I hope you can see it. From having one of these, uh, you know, what do you call them? I don't know. What do you call that? I don't know. Uh, a handle. Yeah, there you go. The handle, this particular handle even still fits on there. So there you go. I got the handle thing too. I got a couple of these. <clears throat> so there you go. Thank you very much, Shore Vapor. I appreciate it. Happy holidays to you. Well, let's go now to, we referred to it in the comments as the Gary Box. The key, the key thing about the Gary Box is not always just what he sent me, but how we sent it. So let me, let's go over this. Okay. Look at, he did all these little sticky notey things here. And I think I'm missing one. Let me look for a second. I, I got one more over here. Let me make sure I get it. All right. I didn't want to forget this one, too. Okay. Here's the first thing that he said. And you can tell, yeah, he, old Gary's got some serious chicken scratch. <laughs> okay, he says, Dave, I bought these a few years ago. 511 makes two kinds of shorts. Nylon and canvas cotton. I can't wear the nylon. I feel like I'm wearing a plastic bag. <laughs> these aren't them. These aren't them and I'll tell you why. These are AFCOs and they're 100% nylon. I wear AFCOs all the time. It's cold outside. Well, it's cold for us, 40 degrees. And I'm still wearing my AFCOs. Okay. So he says, <coughs> they make two kinds, uh, nylon and canvas cotton. I can't wear the nylon. He's talking about shorts that he sent me. I feel like I'm wearing a plastic bag. I never wore these even once. I needed something to pack the box with and didn't want to just toss them. If they work, great. If not, toss them or make them a rag. <laughs> now, Gary, they were too big for me to let you know. He did send me these really super nice 511 shorts. Um, I wear a 511 tactical belt. All right. My mom told me, she says, don't worry, give them to me. I will go donate them. So there's where the shorts are going because they were way too big for me. I'm not going to discuss sizes here. <laughs> I'm not going to tell sizes, but um, they were too big for me. So I really appreciate the thought. Anyhow, he says, one good thing is if they get wet, they are dry in 30 minutes. Yeah, that's a no brainer. Why do you think I wear the AFCOs? You could sweat, you can get wet. I've been wearing AFCO shorts literally since the first year they started making shorts. AFCO, American Fishing Tackle Company, if you don't know. So that was the first thing, and there were some shorts. Then, let's go to this one. He includes a pack here of 5 odd circle hooks. This is all what was in the bag, folks. It was fun, fun, fun. It felt like Christmas time because we really don't celebrate Christmas in Dave's house. So there we go. 
Nice little black circle hook. I hope you can see it. Okay, your standard operating for circle hook. A little note. Paxipa. P-A-X-I-P-A -A hooks. Paxipa. Yeah, I know. Circle hooks. Because he knows I don't use a lot of circle hooks. But super cheap. I use for dead stick, but they make uh, everything. Check them out. Ten bucks for a hundred hooks. So, I'm passing it on to you folks. www.paxipa.com Paxipa Paxipa hooks. They make all kinds of good stuff. So Gary sent that along. Here's the next thing. Greenside Diamond, tell me if you can figure this out, aficionados. Greenside Diamond Strop Paste cuts like no other strop paste. Other side, no paste. Just use it like that. You will get an unbelievable edge. Give me time, oh, give it time for paste to work in. And what's he talking about? Gary sent me a little strop. Here's my normal strop. It's literally nailed to this workbench. But this one here, I'm going to show you what I've been doing with it. It's already been used. I've already been using it. But I, I kind of uh, use it on the old Cold Steel Andrew Demko 8010. Right? And he's right. Ooh, that, that diamond paste gives it a super mirror finish. And I really appreciate it, Oral Walk. Because let me show you what I've been doing with this. Here's a 511 tactical bag with a million little places to hide stuff. This is my mobile office. It weighs about 15 pounds. This is where all my GoPros are, all my mounts are, uh, everything. I carry my reservation books in the back, my rack cards, flashlights, sharpeners. Well, guess what? I've been carrying this right here. And while I'm waiting for customers, I usually pull it out. There it is. It fits right in there. I pull it out and I was stropping some knives while I'm waiting around. So, I got that in there. That gave me that little strop. Let's move on. Here's the next thing. Oh, he also sent this. He sent me some of this, which I've never used. I've never used it. Sent me some 30-pound Power Pro Super 8 Slick. And he said, that's St. John's River brand. Yeah, he's right. That's, that's what St. John's River Falling Tide Brown is. So that's 300 yards of 30-pound Power Pro Super 8. He sent me that. Another thing he sent is this stuff. You see that? That is shrink wrap for your rod uh, handles. You know, you goes over your... Uh, rod handles, either the butt or the foregrip. So you could take this, cut it down. This one's a little bit bigger than this one. So that's a little fatter rod. And you can shrink wrap your rod handles. A lot of companies, rod building companies and stuff, have gone to this over putting cork or EVA foam. And Gary put some of this on there, on his rods, I suppose, so he sent me some pieces. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. I haven't decided. A lot of stuff I'm mulling over. All right. Oh, he says here, uh, heat gun works best. Really, Gary? I was thinking I was going to get out the acetylene oxygen torch. <laughs> okay, cut slightly longer. It shrinks lengthwise as well. So when you put a piece of this on a foregrip or a butt grip of a rod... A little longer is better because it's going to shrink not only this way, it's going to shrink this way too. 
I know all about shrinking this way. I know all about that, Gary. Just so you know. <laughs> all right. So the next thing he sent, Spiderco Delica Stainless Steel. Yes, sir. And I'm not sure if they still make a st all stainless Delica anymore. This is one, one popular uh, size Spyderco knife. I like what he says here. Go light or go home. This was a serrated blade. I repro-profiled it. I never used it. Sometimes nice to carry a smaller blade. Enjoy. Well, yes. I mean, this is my normal in my plier pocket by AFCOs have. So, there you go. Yep. Yeah. And guess what? I don't go light or go home. I carry both. And I can say Gary did a very good job on reprofiling that blade if that was, if you can see, if you can see that that was serrated. He did a fine job of turning that into a, just a straight blade. And that thing is wicked sharp and I love it. I love this. And uh, it's got the pocket clip on it. Nice little stainless delica. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I absolutely love this little guy. Let's see. Well, no, there's two more things. Came in this little box, just shy of a car headlight. Amazon ran out of them. 13 bucks. I bought a bunch of them. Make sure you take the plastic strip out of it so it can be turned on. Review worthy? Enjoy. Well, it came in this little box and it's a Nikron flashlight. You know, like minds, I mean, we're, many of us are like-minded more than you'll ever imagine. I have looked at this flashlight a hundred times on Amazon because it is a great price. It's rechargeable, right? It's simple. No push buttons. When it's in your pocket, you're not turning it on. <coughs> That's the reason I have a lot of problems with some flashlights. Nice and bright, right? And it's all on, there you go. You can put it on strobe. Strobe alert, sorry. You can put it on strobe, and I think you can even back it down a little bit, maybe, so it's not as bright. And then you go, you tighten, and then untighten. And then, the nice thing about it is, it's got this rubber ring right here. And under that rubber ring, you turn it around until it exposes a USB rechargeable. USB rechargeable. Nikron. Nice, nice little EDC uh, flashlight. I've been using it constantly. Comes with a little keychain, but I just keep it in my pocket. So this is absolutely wonderful again. Thank you very much. And it came in this little box. Last but not least, we're, we're, we're all so much alike. We're all so much alike. But I never thought of this. I never thought of it. And the reason I haven't done anything with this item yet is because I wanted to keep everything free and clear here so I could show you. Okay, the next little note. Optional flashlight upgrade. Epoxy or glue to tail end, and it will stick to anything of steel. Also, pick up things you drop. I'm telling you, Gary sent a tiny little magnet. And what you would do is you would mount that magnet to the tail end of your flashlight. So with some glue, so then when you go to use it, you can stick it to a car. Like he said, you can use it to pick up things. 
good, good idea. Good idea. And I am going to do that, I believe, with this Nikron flashlight. And I'm going to glue that right on there. So again, all I can say is thanks. I really like this, you know, of course, a stainless steel Delica. I love it. And the flashlight and the grip and the line and the hooks and the brand new nice Engel cup. I really appreciate it, fellas. I hope everybody has a good holiday. So there you go. This is some of the things that were sent. I really appreciate it to everybody who sent uh, Shore Vapor and Oralock. And like I said, if you got something unique, unique, weird, fishing related, just contact me in my in my uh, in the video description below. I'll have my email address. You can email me, and then we'll chat about it. All right. And if you you know want to donate it, fine. If not. I mean, we're just talking simple, small stuff here, folks. I'm not, you know, I'm not talking about you sending anything huge. All right? And uh, we'll go over it, just like we did with all these little treasures here. So thanks for watching. The weather outside is frightful, but it's so delightful. It's blowing today, so, you know, I don't think anybody's fishing. And it's kind of chilly. But then again, compared to my last video when it was damn near like 80 degrees and it was hot up in the nursery, wall-to-wall -wall people and boats, these are the kind of days that if you're wanting to book a charter and it's a little off the wall, it's either cold, blowing, you can guarantee there won't be anybody around. We'll have the whole place to ourselves. So, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget... Ring that bell and hit the subscribe and you'll be notified of future uploads.